Hey everyone, Itarota here, bringing you another how-to video of sorts. I am making this solely for to help somebody that's on my channel, but if this helps you as well, I am glad that it will. I'm going to be teaching you how to export properly with Roxio Game Capture. Now, this is just this normal Roxio. This is not HD and anything else. I know it says it has a YouTube feature here, share to YouTube BTC, but this is just more of a better way of doing it that I've noticed. That way you don't have a lot of technical issues of, you know, like going from one thing to another or something freezing, etc, etc. I have a base video here of my intro that you see on my Minecraft videos. And I'm going to show you how to export. What you would want to do is you would want to go to File, Save As, give it a couple of seconds for it to open up wherever your folder is. As you can see, I have current productions, etc., etc. We're just going to save it as Production 7. And then what we're going to do is you're going to click Export As. It will prompt you to save it in a different name, as you can clearly see right here with Production 7. F video file quality. Now this has a whole bunch of different other options, from ranging from 1080p at 30 frames to, you know, all these others right down here. Now, what ends up happening is, if you do Windows Video 9, it will export, ex you know, really, really quickly. However, the file size will be huge. If you do 60 frames, however, it will actually do... Oh yeah, I already did it just to test it out on OBS to make sure that everything ran properly. It, however, if you do it on 60 frames, yes, it will go a lot slower because, well, it's doubling the frame rate. However, it will be cleaner and the file will be actually more compressed to actually be a quicker upload. So let's say you have a raw file of about, mm, let's say 20 minutes, and it's about five gigs worth, which is average, you know, for what you record with. By the time you actually do with the editing and exporting it, you know, what you wish, if you do the 60 frames per second, it knocks that video down from five gigs down to about 1.2, which is phenomenal. It is a huge difference, especially if you do not have very strong upload speed. You would want to compress the file as much as possible. And with this, you don't have to sacrifice quality in order for you to do it. I'm allowing you to see the export so you can actually see the seconds and the frames as well as there's a percentage bar both in actual reality as well as in actual percentage next to uh, the frames and seconds. Well, and I'm going to show you just another quick little thing, and that'll be the end of this video. As you can see, we're done here. You just go right to your YouTube page, hit upload. Oh, this is all my thumbnails for some reason. And here, ignore all this. Production 7. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And the cool thing is, is like I said, you don't sacrifice any time. The only time that you sacrifice is when you're exporting, which, believe me, it can be a little bit tedious or it can be a little bit meh, but that's your chance to actually go and get another recording done, or as well as you can actually go and think about your next video and such when that's going on. Because with Roxio, you don't, you're not limited to just doing one capture, one edit, and then being done. You can continue capturing with Roxio while exporting. It does not actually do anything. All you would have to do is actually just click the uh, Roxio icon, open it up, click capture, and then you can keep continue on going. Well, everybody, this is Itara Oda, signing off. I hope that you all have a good day, and I hope that you all stay safe. And I'm pretty sure that I think I just screwed that up completely at the end. Damn. Well, I'm so I apologize for that fail in advance, but I hope you all stay safe, and I hope you all enjoyed this video and it helped you. Take care, everyone, and be safe. Later.